Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error code when you're launching Minecraft for the first time, and it says something went wrong uh, launching your game. The game is already running. If you just quit the game, it should be ready for launch again in a moment, and it says error code 0 times 87 e 5003 a the error might be slightly different, but this sh should still fix it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hit these little Windows icon here. We're going to click on Settings. This tutorial is for Windows 11, but for Windows 10 it's fairly similar. We just go into our settings here, we click on apps, so in this little left hand menu there's going to be an apps button, and in the top there should be an installed apps option here. We're just going to scroll down until we find Minecraft, you can type in the search bar, but we're just going to scroll down because we don't have many apps. And we're going to go to the Minecraft, these two Minecraft things, Minecraft launcher and Minecraft, we're going to click on the three dots here, we're going to click on advanced options. Now we're going to scroll down here and under reset, I will just scroll down a bit, there's going to be a button that says repair. We're just going to hit this repair button and this should install any missing drivers or anything like that. It can take a little while, I've just skipped ahead here, but now that is repaired. We can go back again and we're going to scroll down once more to just the regular Minecraft launcher. We're going to click three dots again and we're going to go and hit advanced options. And we're going to scroll down and just hit that repair button. And it's done. Now when we go ahead and cross this off and we click this little OK, I should be able to double click on my Minecraft once again. And this time we should get a little loading window. There we go, now we've got Minecraft 1.21, we can just go ahead and hit play. Now on the off chance that it doesn't work, there is one more method. We can go ahead and click on the start button and we're just going to search for the control panel. So I just type in control and that will come up with the control panel. This should open a window and we should look for programs which should be in the bottom left hand corner most of the time. If it's not there then this little change icons thing could be the reason why it's different. So I just need to set that to category to make it easy. We go to programs. Now I'm going to go ahead and select Java and that should bring up this window here. Now I'm going to go over to this update tab here which is the second one from the left and then we're going to scroll down until we hit this update now button. We're going to go ahead, hit and hit this to hopefully update the, the drivers and it says you've already got the latest version of Java on the system so that's obviously not the problem. Now for some reason that doesn't work we can go and try and head and make sure that it's updated properly. So we're going to go ahead and click on the little windows button here. Next we're going to go, oh, we're going to go ahead and click on settings and we're going to go into system. Now over here there should be a Windows Update button here. We can go ahead and click this. And that will give us a little Check for Updates button. We're just going to go ahead and run this. And that should load pretty fast and we can just go ahead and try and run the game again. Alright, and we can go ahead and try and run the game again. Now if none of that works, I have a nuclear deterrent that you can use instead. Simply search up Minecraft Download and just go to their official download website. Once you've got to the Downloads page, where there's not only a big download button for the launcher, this is the launcher that seems to be giving me problems. So what you're going to want to scroll down and do is click on this Download Windows Legacy Launcher. Now this is sort of an emergency, um, sort of it's not working so I've got to use this technique. After it's downloaded onto the computer you just go ahead and double click this guy and it should come up with a window that looks like this. Just go ahead and hit Next. Um, I've already run this once so I'm just going to hit repair but normally it'll have like an install button. Go ahead and hit the repair and then just go finish. Now when we boot it, hopefully it will work. There is going to be a difference in the launcher icon compared to these two things so this one doesn't seem to work for me at all. This one, however, the legacy launcher, the Minecraft launcher with this new ugly creeper logo, does seem to sometimes work. There's also an issue where it can say that you've already joined the game as a user. I'm not sure whether someone's hacked this particular account or if it just doesn't like it when I run two games on the same computer. And there we go, we finally got it to work. One other thing that I've noticed with Windows 11 in particular is if you have multiple installations uh, running at the same time, so for example right now I've got anonymous guest and just regular user running at the same time, and I had the game open on a different account, but it just does not let me run two separate accounts even though they're on two separate users. Uh, so if you just log out of one and do the other. It used to be that you could run as many games as you wanted on the same computer, but uh, now you don't seem to be able to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.